Let's go ahead and go to Chris Christie. I, I love how Paul Ryan, we're told, is the most conservative thing since sliced bread and is going to save the earth. Turns out he's a total globalist, anti-gun, pro-open border, new world order, Obamacare-loving piece of trash. I love how Chris Christie's going to save everybody. And now, you know, I think he, he must be Barack Obama's uh, worshiper. You know, to Chris Christie, Obama is his god. And he's always attacking Rand Paul and libertarians, just like Joe Biden, just like... Uh, Obama, and just like Karl Rove, the Republican and Democratic Party leadership cannot stand that there's libertarian constitutionalists who are actually pro-America and common sense and want a future for this country. So let's go to Chris Christie's clip. I, I love all these esoteric debates that people are getting in. Senator um, Rand Paul, for example. Well, listen, you can name any number of people who have engaged and he's one of them. I mean, these esoteric intellectual debates I want them to come to New Jersey and sit across from the widows and the orphans and have that conversation. And, and, and they won't, because that's a much tougher conversation to have. So as a country, and whoever's the leader of this country... Is Obama being in the White House, do you think? No, I don't this, think so. This drift I, towards libertarianism? He worships no, Crisco. So, but, I think, but I think he started to cause it. I don't think it's because, in reaction to him. You know, they say John he Wayne had, had 25 of pounds of he was gonna close undigested meat in his column when he died. He was going to stop this. He was going to stop that. And I, I bet Chris Christie's got like 400 pounds in there. Somebody who had top secret clearance. I said, well, man, when he sits in that chair and starts to hear those briefings, his tune's going to change fast. All right, let's and stop right there. Yeah, that's a bunch of bull, a bunch of briefings by a corporate-run CIA that's jacked the country seven ways to Sunday. You know what I need to know about the New World Order? I turn on every sitcom, every drama, every children's show, and it's anti-family, anti-male, anti-dad, anti-America, anti-gun, anti-private property. Bull! I know your agenda, Baron Harkonnen. I know your agenda, Chris Christie. I know Obama's agenda by the propaganda you vomit on us every day. So don't give me your stuff about when he sits in that chair and sees all the, what, the declassified stuff that our government runs Al-Qaeda? Because our government's been hijacked by criminal banks that's helped stage 9-11 with Al-Qaeda so they could take our liberties? I am sick of you and your lies, pig. Oh, man, I tell you what. All right, that kind of clip gets me really mad. That arrogant piece of trash who literally, who literally is like a footstool to Barack Obama who, who's lost, it was 17 points a month ago. It's like 25 points in under 30. His most fawning idiot supporters know he's a con artist. And Obama's nobody but a brand to sell tyranny, and I'm done with him. I've always been done with him, but now I realize how dangerous he was. I, I didn't realize five years ago. I didn't really oppose Obama. In his election, I was like, I don't like McCain, I don't like him, they're all new order. Look at McCain saying, we've got a ban concealed carry nationwide, it's racist. I agree with Congressman Gutierrez. I mean, it's on now this anti-gun thing over Trayvon Martin, like, like I killed kids at Sandy Hook because I defend myself, or like, because something happened in Florida, I gotta have my guns taken. Go to hell, McCain, and the rest of you scum trying to create collective guilt on me and my family, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, and they know exactly what they're doing, ladies and gentlemen. What about Fast and Furious McCain you've helped cover up for that's killed 2,000 plus in Mexico and several hundred here, including four police officers and two Border Patrol now, scumbag. Oh, nobody's going to personalize those people. Stop trying to enslave me. Stop demonizing my rights. If you were a smart El Jefe mobster, you would want to have a prosperous, powerful America because that's what generates the wealth for you to suck off of. But instead, you have the tyrant's instinct to shut it all down because you want to dominate everybody and make them poor so they got to come begging to you. Because the truth is, you don't just want wealth and power. You want to dominate everybody because you're a cowardly, piece of filth, little scumbag at the end of the day, monopoly person. And let me tell you something, you're going on the ash heap of history, buster. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars nightly news, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones radio show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.